black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, y'all, we're out and about, we're moving, we're cruising. It's a bluebird today. Very, very nice. So why do I already burp on camera? Great, it's the perfect start to the video. Anyways, I'm out, I'm bored out of my, out of comprehension really. Beyond comprehension is the level of my boredom currently, but that'll be solved later tonight. In the meantime though, I figure take a drive, it's beautiful, and try this new place, not new place, a new place to me, but established a while ago, a uh, an artisan wood handcrafted wood fired paddle style pizza a little expensive but it's handcrafted unique one of a kind and i've been wanting to try it for probably a year now at least i've been thinking about going so it's called both hands obviously because we're talking about pizza we're talking about kneading the dough and flipping it around and making it nice it's a sourdough crust and uh, I'm gonna keep it simple with just a pep and cheese because y'all know me, that's how I rate my pizzas is on a pep and cheese scale because it's my favorite scale. I have a feeling though that this place is gonna scoff at dip like this, like a like a, like a a uh, ostrich dipping into the dip. I have a feeling they won't have like dips on side, but if they do, that means they're keeping up with the times, you know what I mean? But a place like this, I would imagine they'd be like very pizza purist and they'd be like, no, we don't really do pizza pizza style pizza. So we ain't providing the dip that you can turn upside down. And it's so fatally congealed with chemicals that it doesn't fall out of the actual cup that you dip it in. So um, we'll see what happens. We're on an adventure and uh, I'm almost there. I'm just about to turn in on down the street. It used to be a hair cutting place called Sheer Heaven but now it's called both hands. So we're rolling up. It's in an old uh, home here, converted into a pizzeria and bakery. They also make really nice breads and I'm excited to try this. Very, very excited. So this is the spot, as you can see, both hands, really nice signage, that paddle there, a little bit of wheat on each side, some, some wheat strands or whatever you want to call it. But it's in this old uh, house converted into a little pizza joint now. So, try this out. All right, y'all, I have the goods. I just got out of there. Had a little chat with the guy, cool guy, nice guy. Uh, we talked about uh, pizzeria work because I used to work in a pizzeria. He knew actually about the place that I worked in Toronto. So anyways, he's on a different system. We'll talk about some things, but let's bring you down for the real thing cam and crack this box fresh for yours, eyes only and mine too. You know what I mean? All right, here we go. Moment of truth, the proper crack with the sirens in the back. Wonder what's happening. That's really close. Anyways, dun dun dun. Woo -lee. Wow, that's actually beside me. Okay. Good thing I'm pulled off to the side here. Wow, we, you guys. I just drooled a little bit. For real. <laughs> this is that hand tossed, home made, crusty crust. Goodness. We'll talk about his style of crust as opposed to where I worked, but yow, that's a pep and cheese looking fire. All right, y'all, it's a bluebird. I'm a bluebird. Look at me in my blue plaid. You guys don't see me in my blue plaid shoes that often, huh? <laughs> that's a stupid idiot. Okay, anyways, this looks amazing, smells amazing. That's like, I'm, I want to get it to a hot, hot, but I feel like it's going to get pretty scary here if I try to get it like super super crazy hot because it just came out of a 700 degree oven all right
Watch, watch, watch this right here. This is this is going to cartoonify. Is it? Are we cartooning? Are we cartooning yet? <laughs> We're not quite. Look at that. Nice thin. This is a sourdough crust. Right. Everything they do in house. But let's get to this. This is a mouth burner. This is volcanic right now. Volcanic ash. It, there was plumes, actually, of, like, dark smoke, carcinogenic smoke. That's where flavor and cancer lives uh, in his oven. But anyways, look at that. And also, they had no dips, I asked. Okay, I'm very scared. Ah. Took them a total of like eight minutes to concoct and cook. While I was creeping around taking footage of that interior. Just to show y'all guys the vibe of it. It's a little weird and uncomfortable when you just start doing it randomly. I didn't ask. He didn't say anything, though. They were chill with it. And then I just inquired about the oven heat. And then I told him about where I worked in Toronto. And he said he has to run a different temp because of the style of dough that he has which is a sourdough dough. Otherwise, if he runs it as hot as like where I worked, where I worked, they get it up to 900 degrees, roughly. And then I said, yeah, but they're on the double zero flour. He's got the knowledge. And the San Marzano tomatoes from the volcanic uh, tomatoes grown from the, the, uh, the volcanic remnants in, uh, in Italy. Can't remember the exact place that they grow but yeah i'll know um but yeah he's like yeah they're on the double zero and then i told me I, <coughs> I worked there for two years and that uh, they had master oven builders they're sort of like masons they're oven masons essentially in italy and that's their whole job is that they build pizza ovens stone ovens for wood fire jaw and uh I was just letting them know that I was in the know about about that so I had a little chat and then I put him on game to the channel so maybe he's watching him and his assistant but I told him my channel name and I had a nice little audience and that I was going to eat this for my channel because I've been wanting to try it for so long. So let's talk about how it tastes. Delicious. Crust. In my head, being that it was sourdough, I was kind of thinking there'd be more of a a little bit more of a crispier structural integrity nearing the center of the pie. Um, like a more Roman style pie. A Roman style oven pie. It would actually have that to the bottom of the crust, like a more crackery. It's not like that, but it's good. I like the crust. Out at the edges is where it proves to have that 
that nice crispy crust. The pepperoni, it's like cupped, smaller, cup style, which I like. That's a plus in my book. My only grape would be with this. I'd rather have the, pe the pepperoni on top of the cheese for extra crispy edges because that to me lends to a higher flavor profile, right? Like this one right here was kind of poking outside of the cheese at the edge and it gets that that crispy cupped edge and uh, I would have preferred that also pepperoni could have been a little more plentiful a couple more slices The sauce itself looks like a very simple, possibly a San Marzano type sauce. I like how they keep the marinara to a light amount. I like that. Where I goofed, I'm sure he has it. I should have got some fresh basil on this to take it up. That would have complimented this a lot. That's my stupidity. See that, that sauce kind of there, just like kind of orangey, bright red, and it's just a bit. I like that. The cheese are obviously like a shredded nut, not a fresh fior de latte. A lot of places use. Pretty low uh, moisture content, be my guess. on this type of cheese. Cheese isn't overly salty, but it feels like pretty standardized cheese. I don't it's not popping, you know? And this pie, basically a 12 inch pie was $16.95. I'd say that's fair. That's definitely what they charge where I used to work. Probably a little bit more even. For a handcrafted artisan pizza. Really these days, find me any pizza for under like 15 bucks anywhere. Not gonna happen. At least not where I'm at, so it's on par. The other thing too about pizza, the margins on how much it costs to make a pizza Those are good margins. Dough, <laughs> water, maybe some sugar, activator, you know, your yeast, or dough of flour, I should say. All very cheap. Tiny bit of, little swirl of sauce, 
sprinkle of cheese, a couple of pepperonis. Does not cost a whole lot to produce this pie. So the markup on pizza is, is good. It's good business. If you've got consistent business. Which where I worked was slammed. And that's why they ended up expanding into five or six locations, something like that. But anyways, beautiful Saturday. I went and helped my mom grocery shop and carried her heavy shit in the house. And then we're going bowling. <laughs> this is my life now. I go bowling with my mom on Saturday nights and help her do her grocery shopping because I'm a big strong boy. There's also a dude that walked in there that looked so much like Eric Andre. I was like, tripped out for a second. Eric, is that you? All right, last piece. That's the good thing about pieces like this. Is you can slam the whole thing and feel just perfect. None of this insane belly full of dough, you know? That's a nice thin little one. Kind of reminds me of at the, where I worked, we had a substitution pizza made out of spelt. And that was for the folks with uh, celiac. They had gluten intolerance. This crust kind of reminds me of that, like a spelt crust. bordering on like a like a whole wheat in a sense but sourdough whole wheat which I think is pretty accurate as to what it is also a really cool thing and a big shout out to him is there's a pay what you can two slice max pizza slice thing uh there's like a donation box there and you just put in what you can afford if you're you know not doing so well and you're around here and you're hungry walk in there and he's got pies sitting in a you know like a sort of a warmer window and it's just like neighborhood slices so it's like if only you got is a buck or 50 cents come in you get a slice for whatever whatever you can afford so i mean that's really cool for the neighborhood that's like a super thoughtful like keeping people satiated who aren't doing so hot so shout out to him for that that's like a super cool um nice business uh extending hand to the community so shout out to him for that um this is delicious because hey i'm not gonna rate it uh i'm just gonna say that i would totally get it again and i, I would try it with basil and maybe request to get the pepperoni on top but that's a personal preference thing um each place has their own style of how they do things and then there's obviously your personal preferences. I just prefer the pep on top. So delicious. Glad I tried it. And I will definitely try. I will definitely hit it again at some time in the future. But I will adjust the pie. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Till the next one. You know what to do. You could live well.
stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching, eat good, live well, and stay true.